Hi, I'm Pastor Melanie and welcome to Pursuit Kids Corner. Today's lesson is about temptation. I trust that you have all the supplies that you will need for today. Your promised scripture for today's lesson is Matthew chapter four, verse four. And I'm gonna read in the NIV, that's my translation for today. And I would like you to open up your Bibles and read along with me. Now you will need a pen, especially for this lesson, because we're gonna be doing some underlining in our Bible. And it reads, man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. So when I'm doing that, that means to underline your scriptures. And I'll read it again. Men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word, you might even want to circle that, that comes from the mouth of God. God. Now stand to your feet and let's worship the Lord. Let's get out all the distractions that can take us away from concentrating on worshipping God. So let's lift our hands and sing and let's worship him for who he is. He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Dance, dance, dance in the river. Dance, dance, 
lesson is about temptation. Now kids, you might be wondering, how can kids be tempted? Well kids, temptation is choosing to do something that you know is wrong in your heart. Choosing not to obey your parents and what they have told you to do. And I'll give you an example. Now, before dinner, you're a bit hungry and your parents are saying to you, do not eat that double chocolate coated chocolate chip cookie before dinner. And then they go out or they're not in the room and you think, mm, mm. and you go to the jar and you open up the lid and you put your hand in and you take the cookie and you look at it and you're like, and then you put it back. What else can look like temptation? Well, it can be, you can be tempted to do everything else like mm, play on your iPad or play your Sony PlayStation or Xbox game or you could be on your iPhone or you could go out with your friends riding the bike outside and you know what's happening right there you are forgetting to have time with God you can be tempted not to keep your mind on the truth of the word of God and what he is saying about everything because you've been so busy with everything else and doing everything else so kids how do you not be tempted to listen to all the noise and everything else that's going on around you. Well, let's see how Jesus handles temptation in the Bible. So open up your book, get your pencil ready to Matthew chapter 4 verse 1 through to 11 and I'm going to read in the ERV translation, which is the easy read version and you can read along in yours. And it reads, Then the Spirit led Jesus into the, to the desert. He was taken there to be tempted by the devil. Jesus ate nothing for 40 days and nights. And after this, he was very, very, very hungry. The devil came to tempt him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these rocks to become bread. Jesus answered him, the scripture says, now your translation might say it is written, but the scripture says, so you underline it. It is not just bread that keeps people alive. Their lives depend on what God says. So you want to underline that. Their lives depend on what God says. And you can look that up in another 
book of the Bible, which is Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 3. And then the devil led Jesus to the holy city of Jerusalem and put him on a high place at the edge of the temple area. Jesus said, and he said to Jesus, if you are the son of God, jump off because the scriptures say God will command his angels to look after you, to help you and lift you up and catch you in their, in their hands so that you will not be hurt or your foot will not be hit against a rock. And you can find that in another book, which is the book of Psalms in chapter 91, verse 11 to 12. And Jesus answered, the scriptures also say, so you underline that because it will say in your translation, maybe it is written, so underline it. You must not test the Lord your God. Then the devil led Jesus to the top of a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdom of the world and all the wonderful things in them. The devil said, if you will bow down and worship me, I will give you all of these things. Jesus said to him, so Jesus said, very important, get away from me, Satan. The scriptures say, so you underline that, the scriptures say, you must worship the Lord your God, serve only him. And you can find that in another book, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 13. So the devil left him. Then the angels came to Jesus and helped him. Now, in the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 1 to 11, you see that Jesus was tempted three times by Satan. Every time Satan came against him, what do you think Jesus did? He spoke the word of God. So he spoke the word of God to the enemy, Satan, and what the scriptures said. And the devil left him and the angels came and ministered to him. Amen. Kids, no temptation will overtake you. God is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. He has made a way of an escape that you may be able to bear it. And that's in 1 Colossians chapter 10, 13 in the New King James Version that I read it from. For in that he himself has suffered, being tempted, he is able to aid those who are tempted. What does aid mean? It means help. So I'll read that again. For in that he himself has suffered, being tempted, he is able to aid those, help those who are tempted. And that's in the book of Hebrews, chapter 2, verse 18 in the New King James Version. Now, kids, you might be asking, how or how can God help us? How can God help me? Well, the first thing that you need to do is take time to spend with God every day, just like you would chat and talk and spend time with your best friend at school or even your trusted parent or an older sibling and chat to them and they chat to you. And that's exactly what Jesus wants. He wants to chat to you and he wants to hear what you have to say. Jesus wants to listen. And you can do that with Jesus in prayer. When was the last time you took some time out and just chatted to Jesus? Did you gain peace or even joy? talking to Jesus and being in his presence because I know that when I spend time with Jesus I feel the presence of the Lord and I feel joy and peace. The second thing is you need to read your Bible, learn about what God is saying to you and about the situation and the circumstances that you're facing. Ask him to help you understand the Bible and give you wisdom about what he is saying to you. A great book for wisdom that you could read every single day. You could either read a chapter or a verse and that's Proverbs. And with Proverbs, you will gain God's knowledge and wisdom. 
When was the last time you read your Bible? Did you get understanding after you read it? The third thing you need to do is study on the scripture that stands out to you. Meditate on it. What does meditate mean? Well, it means that you need to think about it and speak about it over yourself continuously, which helps you to grow and build your faith and renew your mind to what God is saying about you and your situation and your circumstances. This helps you to receive and believe and trust God's word and the truth of the matter that he is saying about you, your situation and your circumstances, which helps you to cast down those lies or temptation that your parents or God has asked you not to do. So then you are not tempted to think any other way than what Jesus is thinking and saying about it. When is When was the last time that you studied something in the Bible? When was the last time you did it? Did it help you change the way you were thinking about yourself or the situation or the circumstance that you were going through? Maybe even change your perspective. And what does perspective mean? It means that something you were expecting in the future, did it change the way you were thinking about that? And the fourth thing you need to do is turn away from things that you might think you will do that's, gonna, that's wrong. Example, so if your friend puts on a movie that you know is not a good movie to watch or you should not be watching it, what do you think you should do? Don't go along with it. That's what you do. Don't go along with it. You are not to be a follower. Be a leader and either leave the room or go home. But better still, do you know what you can do? You can ask your friend to change the movie around. Choose a different movie, which helps you to influence them to do the right thing. So you both are doing the right thing. So then you are not tempted to think any other way than what Jesus is thinking and saying about it. So the word becomes life to you and leads you in the way that you should go. Amen. Now I have two questions for your lesson and don't worry, I will help you. The first question is, how many times was Jesus tempted by Satan? How many times? Can you remember? The first one was the bread. What was the other one? Can you remember? Yep. And the last one, that's right, he offered him everything, didn't he? So there was three times that Satan had tempted Jesus. Now the second question is, what are the four things that you need to do to not be tempted anymore? What's the four things, do you remember? First one is, That's right, talking to Jesus and then listening and hearing what Jesus has to say, which is in prayer, that's right. And the second one is, that's right, reading your Bible, because it's a map for us and it's a guide and it leads and guides our footsteps, doesn't it? And the third one is, what do we do when we read the Bible? We meditate on it, don't we? We meditate on it and we study on the Word of God and we speak it out and say what God says about the situation and the circumstance and ourselves. And the fourth one is, what do we do? We run in the opposite direction from temptation. Totally in the opposite direction, don't we? So we don't do the temptation at all and God will give us the strength to do that. Amen. Now, your craft for your lesson today is a little booklet. Now I got an A4, I got some A4 pieces of paper and I use some different coloured pieces of paper to leave room for extra scriptures that I'll be studying on or meditating on. And I thought that that would be great for you to do too. And I put my Bible, so it's my scriptures that God has spoken to me. I would actually also like you to also put in the promise scripture, which is Matthew chapter four, verse four. Now you don't have to do many 
pieces of paper, but I thought it'd be a good idea for you to do this so that you can put other scriptures in. You can use an A4 piece of paper and you can decorate it any way you like. You can even put it in your exercise book if you like and you can just pop it down the, the uh, promise scripture for the lesson today and then you can put down other scriptures that have stood out to you today as well. So have fun doing that and let's pray. I just thank you, Father God, Lord Jesus, that you will help your children to turn away from temptation. I thank you, Father God, Lord Jesus, that you will draw them close to you, help them to talk to you and hear their Father's voice, Father God. Help them to meditate on the word of God, Father God, to, to speak it out and say it and consistently be speaking it over themselves so that they can renew their mind and that they can be helped by you to overcome temptation in Jesus' name. Amen. Now enjoy your week knowing that you and your family, God has made a way, to, a way out of temptation. Amen. And also too, I would just like to say that we have been praying over you, every single one of you, every day, and we love you so very much. And also too, if you've got any questions or anything that you would like to say to us or have us pray over you, or you wanna just say hello, you can message us at kids at pursuitchurch.com.au and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, I will see you soon. Love you guys, bye.